Holy shit. It's here. Babe, it's here. Welcome back to uh, to another episode of Travis Does Firewood. I bought the cheapest over 60 cc saw I could find on Amazon. We do an unboxing, I put it together, and put it to the test. Let's do it. Let's go a little higher. How's that? A little better? Can you see me? All right. So, unboxing. I have of all the chainsaws that I have, and I have several, and I guess maybe you have not seen them all, but maybe I need to do a video of all my chainsaws. If that would be interesting, uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, this is this is the first, my first ever new chainsaw. I've owned a new one. I never used it because I already had one just like it. And I sold that. That's the one that I was, was, was complaining about before. I think on a short that people were haggling, ha, uh, that pe people people were haggling with me over the price of a brand new saw that I wasn't going to go down in price. So, in short, this is my my first brand new saw, first one that I've ever put together. So, let's see how this goes. Out of the box, Pinkway. Um, that's the thing. I think this, this is the um, make the model the 63, I believe, the CCs that it's supposed to be, and I hope that it's a 20 inch because I don't need an 18 inch bar. So, I hope this is a 20 inch. So, let's open this up. So, I found this on social media on, a, on I think it was Instagram, and I looked into it further. It was on, on Amazon. Oh, by the way, this uh, uh, scrunch tool, it works well for opening boxes. Uh, pro tip. Uh -huh. And I looked into it and I said, hey, that's interesting because 60 cc's, that's quite a bit of power. I think I have that in my Husqvarna. Let's, let's try it out. So, I don't know. How many boxes do you need? For one thing, come on, get out of here. All right, just one, one more. There it is. Gasoline chainsaw, 63 cc's, horsepower, I guess, 20 inch, yes. And so this right here, I don't know if you can see this or not, this says 25 to one, 25 to one ratio of oil to gas. Now, a lot of the stills are Husqvarna's, saws, any mainstream, Small, I guess, any equipment that you need to add oil to the to your your gas is gonna be probably 50 to one, maybe 40 to one. This is gonna run 25. So when I was reading the reviews on this, um, 25 people were like, "Whoa, it didn't. It ran for a bit and smoked, and then not can't work it." Well, because you used the wrong ratio. If you read the instructions or read the box, it says 25 to one. So I'm gonna have to devote one mixing gas can for this machine um, that is 25 to one because my other my other chainsaws I just run 50 to one just through all of them so um, yeah let's see let's go so this is the chain the corner corner pieces try to keep this all intact in case I need to return it bring it across I do not need to this is my my bar with the scaber awesome and the bar is Looking back, uh, just an upgrade. Pinkway. All right, so that's the bar. Put this back in here. So this says 18 inch. So I'm thinking this is going to be more. So I think this is a 20 inch bar. I'm hoping. Instructions, which we'll see how this goes. To read. First piece of styrofoam, and we'll take out the head. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. That looks cool. We got the plastic. We got the plastic. All right. So I think a lot of you, the first thing you're going to notice is the color. 
A lot of us are used to the bright orange of the es of the echoes, the steels, the who who the who who Gavarnas. This is not orange. It's purple. And in the, in in the comments in reviews that some guys were like, "Yeah, I bought this for for my wife." Okay, and then I think there's only a few YouTube videos um, on the saw, and I th think they're all of them. A lot of people are like dogging the color. Why can't you rock a purple saw? What's the issue? A color is color. This is. I'm gonna run it, okay? I'm gonna run a purple saw with a smile on my face as long as it runs and it cuts and rips, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. It's purple. Go over it. So that's the head. So far, I love it. Put this aside real quick. Let's see what else is in the box. Small mixing container for your oil. This is, I guess, gas. Yes, it says, it says fuel mixing bottle. Puny. I don't think I would ever use that. Give that away. Um, let's see a little pink away toolkit. What's inside here? What's inside here? So we have our uh, bar tool. <coughs> Extra, uh, I guess, rope, uh, pull rope, and another screw piece. I don't know if that's for, but I guess that we have that. Maybe it's for the rope itself. And we have a small, oh, file. That's nice. Dinky file, though. I hope they tell us in the instructions what size, what size file we need for this. Small screwdriver. That's cute. Um, and then some Allen wrenches. And that's all that's in the cute little bag so I guess handy if for a homeowner tight but definitely not, I don't think I would be too too jazzed about this but it's always handy to have one more of these even though it's kind of it's cheesy I won't lie to you it's cheesy but it's nice to have one more of those um, in your toolkit when you're working on on stuff what else is in here we have the chain so we I, I believe this is one chain and we'll see how sharp this is let me get to it. So we have the point three two inch, and that's um, point zero five eight and seven seven six. So in here we'll figure out um, what we need for the file. That's all I see. It's the bottom styrofoam with that, and that should be all of it. Put you down a little lower for this part. So this is the head. Um, it says right here. Right here, it says 25 to 1, so in case any people are confused or you forget, when you buy this, it's a different, different uh, ratio. We have the simple um, fuel station with the with the uh, transparent um, part here where you can see how much fuel you have, which is great. And you have for the bar oil in here. Uh, these would open by hand or probably with your your handy tool, right? Um, what's I think that's a primer. It, it would look to be this little part here would look to be a primer, but I don't think it is. Uh, on and off switch, uh, choke. There's no primer bulb I, I, that I see, so I'm just going to I'm going to open open the the air filter in here. <clears throat> Take this off. I'm hoping that there is a spark plug. I want to confirm before I add any fuel into here. To chew. Huh. Yeah, so here's there we go. That's that's the it's on there, good. Put the boot back on. So yeah, we're good. So this gas it works. The choke works. Awesome. So put the air filter back on. That's not much of air filter. All it is is just a chamber. This little screen here. That's the air filter. That's the little screens. So make sure that if you get this, make sure that you're cleaning that out every so often. Make sure that the gasket is on there. Um, flush. So it connects. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to rip this today what's going on there we go it has to, has, to, has to fit in there 
So I'm not sure how much we're gonna, I'm hoping to get this started and um, running. I'm not sure how much time we're gonna have to rip it and run it. Uh, my son's sleeping right now, I'm taking a nap. So I have a, a few minutes and I wanted to get this started. So um, put the cover back on. It seems kind of cheesy, parts of it. I mean, you're only paying like just over $100 for this thing, brand new. So just just be be gentle with it, um, as you as you should, right? So yeah, China made whatever. Um, no judgment on that. Interesting. So the handle is like a half wrap round, I would say. It's nice to have it here on the side. That is nice. Yeah, definitely. It says right here, made in China, which is totally fine. Is what it is. So uh, yeah, next step, let's um, put uh, some, some fuel and oil in it. Two, I need one for a half gallon, so I need two for a full gallon. So let's let's squeeze, take the cap off, let's squeeze. Do you need more oil? Ow! Son of a, got everywhere. Let me put this cap back on. I mix my own fuel. Um, I've heard bad things about true fuel and just cheaper in my opinion I don't mind mixing my own fuel I can pretty much get down the ratios uh, fairly well um, so I don't buy I'm not always at the store buying already mixed fuel it's not that it's not that difficult to do it's just having a matter of just doing it so this is the first one in there get it all in there so I hope this works my research. I verified it an, a, a one more time on on Google. So I <coughs> I um I think that it's it's correct. So if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong or evidence to that I'm wrong. So I think I need to get more oil. <clears throat> All right, pour it in the second. Um. A portion of oil in the gas can put on the newer style quote-unquote pour spout which I it is what it is I'm not to complain about these things turn this over and then let me get see me do this freehand so open this the gas port should have done it by hand, but it should be fine. All right, so that looks standard. Get the funnel out. Pour some fuel. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't mix it. You have to mix this gas. Or now that I have the cap on, it's gonna do a little, little jiggy jig. Oh, fuel all over the world. Little shake, shake. Mix the oil and the fuel around. Um, should be fine. All right, now we can add the fuel. Jesus. That's a better color. Now we got a blue tinge. Mm, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice fuel <clears throat> tank there. Size wise. I tend to use um, funnels when I'm doing my oil and my gas, so I don't make a mess, but I already made a mess, so it is what it is. So, okay, fuel is, fuel is in, bar, bar oil next. I tend to run the same bar, bar oil in all my saws and through all seasons. Um, 
does it get that cold here and I, I don't run uh, my saws that much during winter time I should um, but I don't so um, acid bar oil kind of an awkward position of where this opening is for the oil for the bar oil so I'm glad that I have this funnel All right, oil is in the gas and the oil for the bar oil. Both reservoirs, both most tanks or both reservoirs seem to be pretty, pretty large. I can look at the specs, but that, that took a lot to snow. All right, that's that. All right, now it's time to put on the bar. So these the dogs aren't too bad. His nuts aren't even on. Oh, wrong, wrong side. I don't like it how the nuts for the bar are like they're concaved. I love how the manual says pink way for pro use. That, that's just funny. I'm sure a pro wouldn't wouldn't buy the saw. I I assume I'm just guessing. This is I would say more for a homeowner, but um. And I would say a homeowner could definitely run a 60cc saw and be safe and not have any issues. But that's just my assumption. I don't know. I don't know. So this. Oh, it's one of those ones you have to mess, make sure that the that the safety is. Oh, damn it. Yeah, kind of like my my small Husqvarna. The, 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 the chain break has to be either engaged or off to get off the, the this this plate to access the bar so the instructions say pull the chain brake off so off as in like it's not breaking so it's off oh and that's loose and that comes off so the chain brake is on this piece which sometimes happens um it's nice having to see this all clean because usually these these saws when you go into them they're all gummed up full of oil and, and sawdust so yeah, now it's time to <clears throat> put on the chain. It's all lubed up in here already. It's excess grease. So let's check out the chain. Now the trick is to get this untangled. So that's gonna be fun. <clears throat> the part of my voice, I'm still getting over cold. Someone, was it, was it Buck and Billy Ray that had an episode or short of how to untangle these chains like super easy was it him if you if you know what I'm talking about let me know there is a trick to this to get these chains untangled um so they're it's not an issue um I wish this was oh there we go there we now we're now we're rock and rolling nice so I'm gonna lay this down here and then take out the saw or the blade or the blah, 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 the bar. Ooh, nice new bar. It's always nice to have a new bar. Ooh, look at this thing. Nice. Look down it. Ooh, curve to it. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right. So let's put this bad boy. So put the chain on on the nose. Make sure that we are in the correct orientation. Because that would be bad. I have not done that yet, I don't think. I have yet to put on a chain on backwards or the other direction. I I know there are others out there who have. It happens. It happens um, to the best of us. Sometimes we're tired. We're not looking at the picture uh, uh, correctly or whatever. So, But that does happen. So I'm going to get this on. On the bar, I, thought I should be wearing gloves right now, but I'm not, so I hope I don't cut myself. And I'm just going to make sure that the the I'm good with orientation, and this seems to be good. So, okay, okay, this is. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. 
Now we're cooking on that. Now we're cooking. All right, so get on there. Get on there. is on it's tight chains tight but it, it's sticking a little bit so I'm gonna loosen up oh I don't like that sound what is it? it seems to be okay when I go the other direction it wants to stick I don't know if that's that's okay or not but it seems that does it that seems to flow okay so let's try to start it. All right, so I'm outside. Um, I don't like that gas. Is it? Definitely cheesy. I want to make sure that this is not, that the cap is on flush, so it seals. Huh. That's, that's odd. It's still on the bottom, but the, the gasket is funky. Let's work with this for a second. Okay. Yeah, that needs, needs to roll up. That's weird. It will seal just the the, the rubber to seal it. Is, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, anyway. So we're going to go have this be stop is down. So up is on. Choke is out like this. And... I'm gonna have the ch uh, the brake be on, so it won't move. So let's try it out. popped and she ran so um, I, I hope that I was able to get the footage of it finally turning on um, I didn't add any spray into um, the spark plug I just have it to pull a few times um, and it it popped and it ran so what I, ha what I have noticed when I go to pull on the cord is there's, there's a lot of give in here before you can actually to get compression and then pull it so it's either either the cord or just or it's how it's wound or just the actual engine like there's there's, there's like it's soft and then it will be uh be, be hard to pull so i wanted to confirm um bar sizes that oil is oil coming out yeah so i know that i know there's definitely oil coming out which is good so, okay so then this is my my bigger 460 uh, Husky, and that's pretty much yep. So and then this is my this is my my Craftsman, which is 18 inch, so matches up. So yeah, so the the, uh, the pink way is definitely. Uh, I hope you can see that. Okay, you see that? Yeah, comparing sizes, see the difference. So the Husky and the pink way have have a, have a 20 inch bar, or the Craftsman. I don't think you've seen this one for a while. Is that 18? So I just wanted to confirm um, that, that the pink weight is a 20 inch bar. So let's check out the teeth real quick. I forgot to do that. Let's check out um, the chain, the, the, the sharpness uh, right off the bat. All right, there she is. Let's check out 
the teeth out of the box how sharp nope oh, how sharp it is and I don't know if I can get focused or not um, not not too bad can you I don't, oh, come on focus can I you see that okay um, getting in there um, there we go that better yeah see the gullet there it's not too bad I mean I think I love, uh, some pros when they got a new chain from the box they're gonna want to sharpen anyway um, they're definitely cat claw but that gullet I think could could be um, come down and the rakers are just below so I'm gonna run it I'm gonna run it as is and we'll see how this how the how this puppy does um, on the ground definitely a mover and a shaker so there's definitely some power there um I don't know how to explain it just like all the plastic looks cheesy like definitely looks like a uh, Cracker Jack Chinese stuff but so this is not something you're gonna like throw in the back of your 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 pickup truck or your trailer um and like mess around with this is something I, but I mean you're not gonna want to baby it either because you're you're cutting you're cutting logs you're ripping you're ripping firewood so you want to make sure that you so I don't know so kind of like in between don't toss it in the back of your truck and go but don't baby it so um i think it's worth the money but i don't want to jinx myself i don't just myself so, so let's get geared up and let's see if we can rip some you know what let's there's there's some cedar up there let's let uh, let, uh, let's first put the test with, 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 with some cedar and then move on to like some spruce slash pine to kind of really, really, really test it out because I don't have any hardwood here, just softwood. So let's see what we can do with it. saw me cut into some uh, cedar cedar is pretty much the easiest and softest wood that you can that, that you can use a chainsaw on so definitely easy um, but this thing is pretty loud it's loud um, there's power there I do I, I do feel like the like, like it rips which is great but let's get into a little bit more harder wood wood that's going to be more wet too so and see how that does and see if we can max out the bar length so so let me show you what i have so this um piece here i'll just I'll, so i'm going to cut up one of these because i still have 
my 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 maple my, my premium maple guy um he like i said in the previous video um here he wants some of these rounds for to be able to sit in a sauna i'm trying to talk him into if we could use some of the cedar blocks up there um but because they would be definitely lighter than than these mama jamas not so sappy but he said whatever but he, he wants he wants sure that it is specific to his, his his dimensions so what i had last time is is like 18 by 14 something like that but anyway i'm using my my saw bar um as a guide so definitely this is too big for him so we'll, we'll be ripping in into this probably just above those knots to be a 16 inch so let's turn this on its side and let's see how this pink way rips Well, the saw is flooded, so I'll come back to it. Two thousand years later. Checking this out. Ooh, look at that. Nice, fresh, straight cut. I like it. And took out these chips. Stock chain. Nothing modified to it. Not, so I have not sharpened the chain at all. But but this is a, but this this is a good a good um, touch of ripping. Uh, the the uh, shavings is awesome. Um, I do. I would like to sharpen the chain, though for sure. Uh, get, um, but uh. I think that that was a good test. Um, as of right now, the the review is out in terms of the saw. Um, I I mean, so far so good. I'm sold on it. Um, it it's a little bit more powerful than my Husqvarna 460 that has 60 cc's. So, so this apparently has said has 63 cc's on it. So I mean, for the price point. Um, I, th I mean, so far so good. So we will add this to the arsenal of um, the wood yard. Um, we will see how it goes. I think it's nice having another uh, powerful saw. If one is dull and and, and, and I don't want to spend the few minutes to sharpen the chain real quick, just having to bust uh, this one out or vice versa. 
and get it done. Um, having two when you're doing a job, having having both um, that are sharp and gassed up, and then when one is empty, you just go for this one and kind of trade off because you 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 don't want to add um, gas to a hot saw. That would that's that could cause issues. Um, so I, I so I think so far so good on the saw. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It just in terms of like the purple the plastic casing on it it just it looks cheesy the handle looks cheesy the metal even did this like silver part right here it just it looks it looks cheesy um the the dogs on it i mean i don't they're not they're not that bad um but again for the price point um it's a pretty good saw um to have one fuel canister of just specific fuel ratio the 25 to 1 just for the saw i mean this is what it is i just have a have several a smaller um uh, gas cans i have around so i didn't have to buy my one but it would be a bummer to having to to buy a gas can to mix your own because even when i was at the local hardware store um uh, yesterday and they didn't have they didn't have um a the 25 to 1 premixed. This is not a thing. Um, yeah, so as I'm as I'm talking right now, I do notice that there's bar oil coming from um, the saw and it's, it's going on to the, the round here. So we do have um, oil that is is lubing up the chain, which is good. But already I've, I've cut, what, maybe three, maybe four rounds. And you can see how much the chain is already um, lo loosening up. So I def so that definitely needs, needs to be tightened, but when you get a new chain, um, have it be uh, tight enough, but know that it's, that that it it, it 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 will stretch. So just to 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 take that in note to maybe cut one or two rounds and check it and make sure that it's tightened because you don't want to lose chain. So I'm in here in my garage, my shop, I guess you could call it, and I wanted to check out the the choke because it seems kind of funky so i took i took the cover off took the air, air filter off and if you look down in here see if i can get you a good angle here's the choke here and it is it is all the way yeah, so that, that pushed in see the flapper in there and then you pull it back to to you start it right and there's just a lot of play <clears throat> a lot of play in here and in here, so when you're going, if you're trying to play with this, having to have it be right where you want it, back and forth, back and forth, there's just so much play in here that it's hard to tell where this flap is in this thing. And I don't think that's normal for uh, for a lot of chainsaws. Um, I don't know how to remedy that, or or if there's any, or if if, if that's even possible. So like that's all. That, so that's where you would run it, right? Flap flap open um, in there. Um, in the carb and it's just and then out i'm mean, so to kind of have to kind of be on that fine line where you where you want it and all the way out is this just i don't like how there's so much so much play in the in the choke so i guess that would be one one critique or one view of this thing and i wish that there was a primer bu bubble i know that maybe on a lot of pro saws there's not um there's not but it, it i I feel this, it's, um, to make sure that you get going, the fuel going, and not have the, uh, pull, uh, pulling that rope a few more times than, than needed. So one more, so one more review, or I'll add to the reviews for, for the saw, um, when I'm taking off the clutch cover to fiddle with, um, the, 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 the gear, right? Um, this face comes off with the uh, chain break, which I don't, I don't like. I, I, I prefer not having to mess with that, and have it be on it. It is, it, it, it is very similar to my Husqvarna. Um, the 435 here, where the chain break comes with the uh, clutch cover. So that would be something that um, I. Don't like not the end of the world, but I would I would just one things that I I I would like it to be just the steel stationary on the saw. All right. 
So, uh, final thoughts on the Pinkway. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, it um, is just above $100 um, on Amazon. Again, I'm not sponsored by Pinkway or Amazon. Just I found it, picked it up, and put it together. But that was not not too too difficult, and ripped it. So um, it's 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 uh, fairly loud, um, which I, it happens in terms of your your CC um, when it goes up. up. Um, it'd be interesting to have one of these be ported to see how much power. Um, you, you can get out of it, but that's that's beyond my capacity. Um, I I we'll see how how well the chain is if it will last. Um, I know there's been some, some some complaints about chains by certain companies. They will um, dull easy and they just kind of fly through um, on the bar because of all because of of how how many times you have have to sharpen the chain. So we'll see how how bad this chain is. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, or not? But the, 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 this cold will just not go away. Um, like I mentioned, my Husqvarna uh, 460 has um, on on the top top of it. It says 60 cc's. This specs is 63 cc's. So I would like maybe in a future video, maybe do a time comparison. I should have done this in this episode, but um, time. So um, it, 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 it will be interesting to see if how these match up. Uh, granted, the chain may be different, but in terms of like this being only three cc's more um, than than my husky, we'll see how that maybe goes in the in, in the future. Um, so my biggest complaint is it, is it looks cheap in terms of the the, 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 the uh, plastic. The issue is having it be twenty five to one ratio. Again, you I couldn't find that in the store. Maybe you can or find it on Amazon. But if you don't mix your own uh, mixed fuel for whatever reason, then this saw is not for you because you probably can't find 25 to 1 at the local store or maybe online. And um, this is and that's what this one takes. So uh, kind of unique, kind of different. But um, I I don't mind mixing my own my own mixed fuel. So it's not an issue for me. Um, the color, I think it's cool. I mean, for everything firewood in terms of of, of, of machines, that orange, it kind of gets kind of boring at times. So something as unique as this, being purple, um, I think it's, it, it's kind of cool and definitely, for me, a non-issue. But if that bothers you for whatever reason, but you still want to try out the saw or have a hundred plus dollars just on a saw and nothing more buy it and then paint the purple just saying um i mean there's a knockoff chinese sauce too that are definitely i think it's cloned for steel and they're blue and i mean it, it is what it is i think um for, for a lot of us out there who can't afford the high dollar power saws um this is this is one option um, out of out of maybe maybe a few, um, you could buy used, but then you don't really know what you're what you're getting um, from the the seller. And if you're not mechanically inclined, having someone else go to the shop to work on it, then you're you might as well just buy brand new. Um, my house, house going, the 460 right now for sale locally could go up to like 400 to 600 dollars plus. I picked it up used on marketplace. I think I paid for. 75 which I may have overpaid, but I needed a bigger saw so um, My My craftsman They saw earlier. I think that's at like 35 or maybe 40 cc's that's a homeowner saw You're it it, it, it it's good for branches for trimming or if that's all you have that's all you have and that's fine but if you want to get some work done go to the next level you're gonna get up to 60 or 70 cc's this is the, the this this I guess the per the specs is 63 cc's so so far I'm sold you'll see this more on the channel um so that's all I'll say for that all right so thank you for tuning in I appreciate your viewership your subscription your likes if you want to like like I mentioned in my 500 episode um uh uh, that I won't promote the channel 
Um, I think that it gets annoying every time someone has a YouTube channel. They're like, yeah, smash the like and the notification and whatever. If you're going to like, you're going to like. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. If you want to be notified each time that I have an episode, that's awesome. But I'm not going to push you. I think that I'd, it is what it is. I mean, I would I would like more subscribers. Yes. I like the comments. I reply to all of them as of right now. Um, and, yeah. So, if you want to subscribe, that's awesome. But I'm not going to every time I have an episode say, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Because I'm just not going to. Um, I, I want to produce videos that I myself would want to watch. So... That's that. Um, so thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, stay safe. Keep cutting. And, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers.